BioLine, the PCR company, proudly introduced the MyTac family, a quantum leap in PCR. Presentation by Dr. Steve Hawkins, Senior Global Product Manager. BioLine is a company that serves the molecular biology area and we have in the last 20 years produced a number of innovative products for this area and today I want to talk to you about one of our latest ones, the MyTac family. MyTac gives very high performance, works with all your DNA templates, gives significantly increased yields and is very fast, making MyTac perfect for all your experiments. So why pick MyTac? Well, if you look at a typical experiment, what we have is we have denaturation of your DNA, then we go through a cycle of denaturation, annealing and extension. All of this takes approximately an hour to an hour and a half. So how can we improve this? Well, first of all, what we can do is we can reduce the amount of cycles and the amount of steps we do. Secondly, we can shorten the time taken for those cycles and those steps. And thirdly, we can actually reduce the ramping time, how long it takes to go from one temperature to another temperature. All of these are mechanical and they don't really improve the overall time it takes to do the PCR. So with the MyTac, what we've actually done is we found a faster polymerase. So what does this actually mean? You can see from this slide running very fast and using a standard polymerase, you end up with a smear. And the reason for this is the polymerase itself doesn't reach the end of the amplicon. It terminates and goes to the next cycle before it can do this. And you end up with smaller fragments and you end up with a smear. With the MyTac, because it's so much faster, it gives a nice, clean result. MyTac is extremely stable. What this means is if you're using it for the first time or if you're using it, throwing it out, putting it back into the freezer, taking it back out again, throwing it again, so freeze throwing many, many times, and then you use it, so you can see in this example up to 30 times, you're getting the same sensitivity from the first time to the last time, so you can be sure of the MyTac. MyTac also has higher processivity. What's processivity? Well, processivity is how long the polymerase stays on the DNA. And you'll actually find with MyTac, the polymerase stays on the DNA for much, much longer. All polymerases have a tendency of falling off. And if you can have a polymerase that stays on longer, it means, firstly, that you can use longer fragments. And secondly, you increase the sensitivity. And you can see with this slide, whether you've got high concentration or low concentration, you're still getting very, very good results. So added together, what this actually shows you is the MyTac works very, very quickly. And you can see an example of doing an ultra-fast amplification. Now, normally people wouldn't do this, but this shows you that you can actually do a PCR in less than 20 minutes. So MyTac itself, up to about 1 kb, for ultra-fast PCR is perfect. The polymerase itself is actually only half the process. The other half is the buffer. And what you'll find with many companies is what they'll do is they'll actually create a good polymerase and they will take standard buffers, they will try a number of standard buffers and they will pick a buffer that suits the polymerase. At BioLine, what we've actually done is we've taken one step back what we've done is we've actually broken down the buffer itself. We looked at different sorts, we looked at different pHs, and we did concentration gradients to actually find the best conditions. Not only this, we also added ultra-pure DNTPs and magnesium, so we've optimised it perfectly for the MyTech. An optimised buffer means that you can work with more complex material. An example here is working with very GC rich material. And you can see you're getting very good yields, either working with very high amounts of template or very low amounts of template, perfect results. With the MyTac, we not only have a standard polymerase, but we also have a hot start as well. 
What's a hot start polymerase? Well, a hot start polymerase is one where we have an antibody which prevents the polymerase from working. Why? Well, this actually helps prevent primer dimers. What are primer dimers? Primer dimers are where, at low temperatures, the primers bind to each other. If the polymerase is working at these low temperatures, it means you can get extension. If you get extension, the primers no longer recognize the correct places. And you can see here in this example where you have a standard polymerase and where you have a hot start. With the standard polymerase, you can see below that fuzzy band, and that fuzzy band is the primer dimers, and it's giving poorer yields. The second thing it allows you to do is to set up your reactions at room temperature. Why is this an advantage? Well, if you imagine that you're setting everything up on ice, it means that if you want to do automation, it makes it a lot more difficult. If you can set things up at room temperature, it means that the automation can be done in a much simpler way. So the MyTac with a hot start allows you to do this, and you can see with the results here that whether you're at room temperature or you're at four degrees, you see exactly the same results. If you add all this together, what does it actually mean? Well, it means that the MyTac can actually work with all your different DNAs. And a very, very good example here is working with colony PCR. Colony PCR is where you actually have a lot of inhibitors there. You have bacterial debris, you have potentially agar or LB broth. All of these will cause problems for a normal PCR. And you can see here an example of where we've increased the LB or we've increased, increased the amount of agar. And as you go higher, so you get the inhibition, but the inhibition with the MITAC is much less than with other polymerases. And as a result of this, what we can do, it means we can take a Petri dish, we can pick individual colonies, we can put them into a test tube with buffer and do the PCR and get results. And you can see here, not only can we get results with small fragments, but also with larger fragments. This means you can do screening with colony PCR very easily without optimization. Additional features of the MITAC. First of all, it's been validated for a full range of genomic DNA. It can be used for amplicons up to about 5 KB. We also have it as a polymerase and a master mix, and we have it with red dye. And that red dye allows you to do the PCR and then run it on an agrose gel. Last but not least, we also have the MITAC with a reverse transcriptase, so you can do an RT-PCR straight away. Applications of the MITAC. It can be used for high throughput. It can be used for routine work. It can be used for high genomic. It can be used if you want high yields. And because it's a standard polymerase, it can also be used for TA cloning. For the MITAC HS, we also have the additional features that it can be used for multiplexing, it can be used with more complex materials, and it can be used for things such as colony PCR. MITAC's perfect for all of them. In conclusion, you can now see why MITAC gives you great performance, it gives high sensitivity without compromise, it will work with all of your templates. MITAC, perfect for all your experiments.